Europon develops new computational tools that create pictures of the way neurological diseases play out over time. The tools piece these pictures together from large collections of patient data gathered together across multiple sites. The pictures provide fundamental new understanding into the way these diseases develop, progress and vary among individuals. They also have practical utility in identifying groups of similar patients for more targeted clinical trials and ultimately for matching the right patient with the right treatment or care plan. The project focuses on several neurodegenerative diseases. Alzheimer's disease, the commonest cause of dementia, is rapidly becoming one of the biggest challenges facing 21st century medicine. Multiple sclerosis, one of the most widespread and debilitating neurological conditions among young adults, and prion diseases, a rarer but devastating condition, the most famous of which is Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease or mad cow disease. Many believe understanding these conditions hold the key to fighting the more widespread diseases. We're also studying normal brain ageing in adults and normal and abnormal neurodevelopment in kids. The complexity of these conditions demands a holistic approach integrating information from a wide variety of data sources. Imaging, genetics, psychology, fluidic markers, demographics and many other sources. This demands the new innovation of computational modelling and machine learning techniques that's at the heart of the Europon mission. I'll hand over now to some of the other partners on the Europon project to explain a bit more about the challenges in their particular areas. Neurodevelopmental problems during the first stages of life are a recognised risk factor for developing lifetime cognitive deficits and behavioural problems. Handicap, learning difficulties, underachievement at school age and behavioural disorders such as attention deficit hyperactivity disorder or autism represent an immense burden and cost to society and affect 5% of children in Europe. Premature births occurring in 15 million babies every year is associated with these neurodevelopmental problems in early stages of life. It is of great importance that we learn to recognize these neurodevelopmental problems early and design personalized interventions to decrease long-term deficits. Europond Consortium and the tools that are developed in Europond will help to differentiate normal from abnormal brain development and define trajectories leading to full cognitive and behavioural potential through our childhood into adult life. Multiple sclerosis is a white matter disease causing uh, focal lesions of inflammation in the brain that uh, will affect the conduction of nerve cells and uh, affects uh, about 800,000 people in Europe, uh, typically relatively young female patients. Um, and we can diagnose it by seeing white spots on the brain, but it's actually quite difficult to say who will respond to treatment and who will not, and, and, and especially who will benefit in the long term from these treatments and where we can prevent disability. And I'm interested in Europond because it provides an opportunity to stage the patients and to see who's in an advanced stage of the disease and who would need more aggressive treatment or escalated treatment or who's in a, in a better uh, position and may perhaps not even need treatment at all. So it would be really great to have a staging system that we can use and triage the patients and give them better advice on, on what's what's their future and also how they could best be treated. Human prion disease presents a diagnostic challenge to clinicians because of its rarity. Subtype diagnosis is even more challenging, but it is important because each strain may eventually respond to a different treatment. The main aim of the Europon work in prion disease is the development of models to evaluate the progression of the disease, allowing early diagnosis and correct subtyping. We are using an MRI collection of 350 patients with pathology-proven Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease to test and validate the model developed under Europond. We have shown that the diffusion MRI is a very sensitive and specific test to detect prion damage to the brain. The Europond model will provide new information by identifying where the disease starts and the path of propagation of the prion within the brain across the different subtypes. 
the major impact of Europond in the clinic will be at the level of clinical trials. Uh, about 200 clinical trials have been carried out in the Alzheimer's field in the past 10 years and virtually all have failed. Why is that so? Well, because Alzheimer's disease is not one single disease. Uh, Alzheimer's is a number of diseases, a number of different varieties uh, of, the, of the same phenotype, but with different molecular, uh, uh, molecular pathologies underlying the same phenotype, the same clinical expression of the disease. Europonda will allow to disaggregate the different subgroups of the disease and will allow to uh, identify subgroups who will be sensitive to specific drug interventions such as uh, anti-amyloid uh, antibodies, anti-tau antibodies, base inhibitors or other uh, drug interventions. Considering that aging is one of the greatest social and economic challenges facing Europe, Eurocon will also construct models of population brain aging, encoding both the mean and variability in the population, as well as subtypes and dependence of the development patterns on fixed variables, such as demographic factors and genetic signatures. Understanding the healthy aging process and how it varies across a population will enable us to both provide insights into brain aging and produce enhanced models of age-related diseases, such as dementias. Building upon Europon's unified modeling framework, we will develop a prototype computer-aided system for diagnosis, staging and prognosis of neurological disorders. A first application will be in dementia. The system will combine the unique rich content of our disease progression models into an easy-to-use and interpretable interface. This is a key mechanism to impact the disease management across the full range um, from patients to medical health professionals and to drug development companies. We will create new understanding of neurological diseases together with innovative and marketable computer-aided diagnosis, staging and prognosis software systems. By doing so, Europon will be uniquely placed to bring the power of mathematics and computer science to bear on some of the biggest societal challenges of the 21st century. This will help to secure European research as a world leading in the fight against these devastating diseases.